Hey guys, um, it's been a little while since I posted a video. I think it's almost over a year now, but I'm back. Um, so basically today, it's a bit old, I know, but um, I want to show you guys the Messages app because I think it is uh, very underrated. So of course you get like on your phone or whatever, you get iMessage now with iOS 6. Oops. iOS 6. So you can obviously like send text to iPads and stuff like that. But what about your Mac, right? So isn't it a good idea to be able to send text from your Mac, like emails, and have it the convenience of a text? Well, this is what uh, the Messages app does. It comes integrated, I'm pretty sure, with um, Mountain Lion and Lion, but if you're running an older version like uh, Snow Leopard, there is the Messages um, download. I think that's the beta version for you guys. Um, I'll post a link to that in the description. Um, yeah, so basically, if you haven't already set up your um, iMessage in your phone. So basically, just go into the messages in uh, settings and use your Apple ID. If you haven't got one of these, make one. <laughs> um, you've got, yeah, so just sign in with that and then you will be prompted to use your email address as a contact uh, number basically, but you'll also have your phone number if you're running an iPhone. Um, if you have an iPod, then you'll just be using your email. Yeah, so then I think it'll pop up um, once you sign in to messages with your Apple ID that you're using that contact number as well. So if someone iMessages your um, phone, it will also come through on your Mac, so you'll be able to reply quicker. So in this messages app, uh, you can make like you can make a text from here, make a message basically. So go, th you got your contacts, which obviously you sync through iTunes, um, and you can just say anything to anyone basically, with an iPhone or obviously iMessage. So that is how that's done. It's really easy. You've got a pretty simple interface here. Uh, you'll be able to view all your messages on the side. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, leave a comment for what you think of this. Obviously, the user rating is not as good as what the developers think, but I think it's a pretty handy thing to have around. All right, see you next time.